All right, I'm checking my um, my alignment with my guide plates, uh, push rod guide plates. I put the one piece ones on there uh, instead of the two piece that came with it, just to see if these would work. And I have I have my old push rods in here right now. I'm just waiting on my new ones to come in. So they're a little long, but it's fine for this. So you can see uh, that one lines up pretty good. That one not so not so well. That one's good. That one's off. Yeah, that one's close. That one's off. That one's off to the left. That's off to the right. So these aren't going to work. Um, Wayne, focus on there. I don't know what the number is. Four eight one six. So I'm going to put the two piece on there and try to line them while I'm waiting for my push rods. So I was really hoping to use these uh, one piece push rod guides um, besides not losing their adjustment they also have a smaller hole mounting hole so that the when the studs in there uh, it's got a nice bearing you know load bearing surface all the way around instead of just the slot like this uh, these slots are so big I don't understand why uh, you can see on these just the way they were installed you can see it's crushed it there a little bit. So I'm going to flip them over and use the other side. Um, and when I, when I ordered new studs, I wanted to get new studs for two reasons. One, these are kind of mangled here. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, see there on the left, there's a little piece sticking up. That's because it got gouged. It, it gouges right into that push rod guide and every single one of the bolts is like that and these weren't even really that tight so there's just a little sliver waiting to pop off right there you can see it so uh, the new bolts are better for two reasons one they are 7 16 the entire length these bolts I guess just to save money these are 7 16 at the bottom but then they go down to uh, 3 8 so they can flex a little bit more, I guess. But these, the newer bolts, the bigger ones, also have a larger head. So it's a little, little greater uh, load bearing surface on there. You can see how much bigger the bolt is. So it should spread that load even more evenly and not dig into the guide plate as much. I thought these were hardened. Um, I don't know, maybe you don't want hardened push rod on a hardened guide plate, I don't know. So, all right, I'm gonna line these up and uh, get pre prepared for my new push rods to come in. All right, I'm still waiting on my push rods. So I'm gonna align my uh, push rod guides. The one piece guides just was not lining up at all. So I put the two, two piece back on, uh, cleaning the mating surface where it touches the head and also cleaning this the perch here so that uh, hopefully I get some kind of good stick on there so that they don't try to rotate, you know, while I'm torquing the town. And I uh, put some oil around the head of my bolt and some thread seal. It doesn't need very much thread seal on there because uh, there's not a lot of clearance in between the bolt and the, the thread and it just gushes out all over the place if you goop a lot on there. So anyway, you can see maybe down there can see where it goes into the intake port so um, actually I could probably show you better here somewhere there we go so you can see it anyway so I screw this in and then uh, try to line it up as best I can and I just keep moving back and forth between my my wrench and the torque wrench because it tends to move a lot uh, while you're tightening it down and also I noticed the thing maybe maybe the stud as you're torquing it it leans to one side or the other while it's pulling down tight so it's you think you got it lined up and you tighten it and it doesn't it's not where you left it so I just work my way across set on my box end here so that I can snug it and loosen it like that and I'm keeping my rocker arms 
Um, this is uh, number six intake. And I gotta make sure that I have the rocker in there. And actually that one's upside down, so. See, it's got a flat spot on there for the nut. So. And I just push down on the back here and then just wiggle it back and forth, left and right, until I get it centered where I want. Loosen it, tighten it, and then take this back off, put my torque wrench on there. Because you can't torque it with a rocker arm there. So it's a lot of trial and error, but I'm getting there.